Hey, what's going on YouTube? Finally getting around to share my full stack vid with everybody. Um, just a couple things I want to talk about before I go ahead and go through with my stack video here. Um, you know, I did debate quite some time on whether I was going to do one or not. But, uh, you know, I, I I do see every, when everybody else does it, they get a lot of comments and a lot of people get worked up about it. But, uh, you know, I want to just state right off the bat that um, you know, I do not keep all this <laughs> in my home. Um, the next thing is that this is just uh, one means of savings for me. Um, this is definitely not uh, all my eggs in one basket. I have lots of other avenues of investment. And actually, I'd probably say about 80% of my precious metal stack I have purchased with profits of other things that I have flipped. Um, and uh, that's basically how I look at it. I just look at it as... Um, you know, another form of savings. And uh, as, as long as I continue to think it's a good buy, I will continue to purchase. But uh, I, if there is a little bit of shakiness during the video, I apologize. I am using an iPhone at this time. Um, there is no other way that I could really do it. I'm just going to give you a quick overview of the table before I go through it all with you. Now I've been on YouTube since March of 2015 and I've been stacking for about a year and a half. Um, again, um, just, just as another way to, to save some money. So here let's start out with some of my constitutional silver. Um, I do have a few Morgans and Peace Dollars. Just a few quarters, a few rolls of Merc Dimes, halves which are my favorite. I don't have a whole lot of 90%. Um, that's not really on purpose. That's just the way that it worked out. You know, when I find deals, I pick them up. If I don't, I don't. But uh, here, um, start off with, I'll try to go a little bit slow, but if these are all the same, I'm just gonna kind of go over them. These, uh, when I first started stacking, I obviously I picked up, I did pick up Eagles. Um, I do have multiple rolls of the 14s and some 15s and some, uh, so, uh, just a few older ones. Actually, these eagles, probably right up here. Uh, let's see. These 2010 right here were probably my first uh, silver pieces that I purchased. Um, I did purchase some Canadian silver, um, and I haven't since. Uh, I've had a lot of issues with milk spotting. I've stopped uh, purchasing Canadian uh, coinage, um, which is a shame because I, I think that they have some of the best designs out there. Um, you know, if I wouldn't shy away too much from just the regular, uh, maples, if, if I get a good deal on them, but, um, as far as their proof coins or their special coins, I'm, I'm not going to purchase any of those. Um, I am a fan of the Noah's Ark Armenian. Um, I do have some of these. I believe this, here's a roll of 2014. Here I have a roll of, these are the Britannias. Uh, the horse, horse privy. Um, Jay and Bullion had a deal on those last year, and I did go ahead and pick up a roll. Here I have some of the um, lunar horse from the Royal uh, Mint. These have actually turned out to be decent. Um, you know, I haven't seen any spotting on these yet. You know, not to jinx myself, but. Uh, they have looked uh, pretty good, but I, I don't plan on buying a whole lot of Britannias, to be honest with you. There is my one and only Panda. I don't know if I'll end up getting more of those or not. It is a nice coin, but uh, I'm just, just not into it personally. Um, there's a Libertad and just a couple random um, coins here that I picked up when I first started. Um, here I do have some Ram Privy uh, Canadian. Maples, uh, one Philharmonic. These here are when I first started. Um, I will never pick up any more of these. Um, I know the lighting's not the greatest, um, but these are completely covered in milk spots. It's not picking it up too good on the camera, but there you go. You can see that. Again, sorry for the shakes here, guys. There was uh, no way for me to mount it and show off um, the stack so here I do have a few kooks 14 15 16 
Um, love that design. Uh, some koalas. I do have a few of those. Um, and here I have I have some 10 ounces. Um, I do like to pick up the koalas and the kooks and uh, the lunars. I do have one uh, Noah's Ark 10 ounce there. But uh, I'll pick these up as they come out. I'm not going to go back and try to pick up any of these unless I come across a really good deal. But I like the 10 ounce size. It's just uh, something that I like. There we go. I have the horse and the goat 10 ouncer as well. There's that Noah's Ark. That's just a beautiful, beautiful round there. Just uh, clawing, excuse me. Love it. Um, here are some two ouncers. I still need to pick up the goat and the monkey too. Um, just waiting for to come across a decent deal on those. Um, here's some one ouncers. And uh, I don't normally pick up graded coins, but this one actually I got cheaper than a raw, so I just went ahead and picked that rabbit up. Um, just the one half there. I did have uh, some more lunar coins, but uh, I no longer have them. But I do have a couple rolls here, full rolls. Um, 2014 koalas, uh, 2014 coops. I do like, um, really like those. I did plan on picking uh, up tubes in, in 15. But uh, the premiums just were not at a place where I, where I wanted to pick up any more up, you know. And I'm not going to chase premiums. Um, if it's a good deal, I'll continue. But I'm not going to chase sets either. You know, that's just my uh, philosophy with it. Here I do have a few of these, of the Congo Silverbacks. And uh, one sold roll of five there. I really like those. Here I have um, a Benin elephant. Uh, I believe this is the only gilded coin that I have. Um, I, I did pick this one up. I just really liked, really liked the look of that one. I think it's a beautiful. That's just something inside there. I just think it's a beautiful, beautiful coin. So I don't tend to pick up proofs too much, but. And here um, we'll start getting into some of my just generic rounds. I got numerous. Uh, tubes of OPMs. I'm sure you all seen these, so I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on these. You know, and uh, I know some of you are out there thinking, why does this fool have all this generic bullion in capsules? Well, I'll tell you why. You know, when I first started stacking, I didn't really think it was too wise to purchase and, you know, cost average with all these capsules. And then I uh, found out that I can get them really cheap if when I buy them in bulk. And then I had the thought that, you know, if I can spend $300 plus on a roll of silver, if, I, if it costs me $3.49 for the capsules and the tube to put them in, you know, just to protect them. Um, I like to keep my silver looking good, then, you know, three bucks for a few hundred dollars. You know, I, I kind of look at it like, you know, um, people spend $1,000 on a gun safe for a few guns, you know, same thing. Here, uh, you got, you know, ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 worth of Precious metals if you need to spend a couple hundred bucks to, to keep it looking good. I, I think it's justified. That's just my opinion. I know not everybody agrees. But uh, Here I came across um, a BU roll of 1983 Englehards and the Englehard tube. I still have the tube. So these prospectors. Really like those. And then uh, there was a few extra. Um, they're all 83 except this one's an 85. I think I got like 25, 26, 27 of those 83s. Really like that. Here we have um, the JM, or excuse me, Johnson Mathias um, uh, set of coins. I don't have the complete set, but the freedom of assembly, speech, trial by jury, upside down here, slavery to console, and uh, I think that's, yep, yeah, those are it there down here a religion and the bear arms so and here i'm just going to go into some um other generic rounds sorry about that guys i had to find myself with the camera um i just have some some newer a marks here a couple older 84 85 a marks um you know one of my favorite things this is just a generic from mpm uh, one of the northwest rounds 
Um, I do have a lot of fun going to the local coin shop. If you guys haven't seen my local coin shop vids, check them out. Um, I like going and finding these older rounds, and believe it or not, a lot of these do have premiums and uh, sell pretty good. Of course, I'm not into selling. I really haven't sold any, um, but uh, I see what the completed auctions go for anyway. So I got some nice old ones from the 70s and 80s. I just really enjoy these older, older rounds from various mints. It's very cool. Try not to spend too much time, but don't want to go too fast either. Here I'm going to come around. Uh, I do have a couple of the two ounce um, elemental mint uh, rounds. Only the first one, the privateer. I haven't continued with those. Uh, just, I mean, I think they're cool and everything, just, just not for me. I, I'm not going to purchase anymore. Those two are pretty much where I'm at with those. Just a uh, random holy, holy mint. Um, these were the only two Zombucks that I purchased. And let's move around the side of the table here to my very small Mexican collection. Here you can see I have um, a couple little tin holders. And uh, came across a real good deal on these. And I got a 94. And a 2000. Libertad. Um, I do have two proof. Bought these a while ago. Got a good deal on them. Two proof uh, 2014 Libertads. Beautiful, beautiful coin. I know why so many of you out there like the Libertad. Here I have some Unzas. And a few 79s and a few 80s. We'll move on over to Canadian coinage. Here I have, these are all the same. These are all BU halves, 80% um, silver. Um, I have $50 face of BU. Here are just some random dollars. 67 set. And uh, some more dollars. Quite a few dollars here, Canadian dollars. Just, uh, just some extras. Um, just a small amount of extra. I do have some of the uh, special proofs. These aren't 80%. I believe these are 50%. But uh, these dollars here are pretty cool. I have a few of them. And there's another. This one's not a proof. That one's just a 80%er. And I just pulled some of these out. Um, when I got a lot of my BU 50 cent halves, I have quite a few. Quite a few of these aren't all of them either. I have quite a few of the wolves. They're all just beautiful, perfect condition. Um, got a stellar deal on that on that fifty dollar face, and uh, I just one of the things I really like. And I have take a look at this. Let me see if I can get in on that. Look at that toning on that. Isn't that beautiful? This is one of the wolves. You know, some people dig the toning. Some people don't. I think that looks pretty cool myself. Some nice rainbow toning there. So I'm going to come around the table here um, to a few special coins. I, I don't, uh, rounds, excuse me, I don't purchase too many. But uh, this one here was from my very first video. Here we have the Hera. Two ounce antique finished. Um, I, didn't, I didn't continue on with the set, but I, I do think that one's nice. I do like it. Um, here we have Frank Frazetta. These are uh, fall under the because I like them, <laughs> but they are absolutely beautiful. I'm trying to, let me shut this for a second, see if I can keep my hand from shaking so you guys don't get sick watching this. These are just beautiful. I know you've, many of you probably seen videos on these out there, but Frank Frazetta, his art, um, they're going to continue with the series. These are the first two, the Silver Warrior and the Death Dealer. Um, here, I did start purchasing the Biblical from uh, through Atmex from Scottsdale. These are the first two coins in the set. I bought multiples of each, and uh, I did not continue with that. I did not want to continue with that set, but uh, I did see it was going to be out for six years, and I do have the Exodus and the, the cru Crucifixion. I got a couple of each. Um, have not opened them. Some lower numbers, but, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see how those do over the years. They may not do okay, but... Um, if, if not, I, I like them personally, and uh, I have no problem keeping them. But uh, I know I can at least get out what I've purchased them for. They're starting to sell out. 
took them for a long, long time to do so. Um, here, I just started purchasing some gold and I just kind of threw it out here. Um, these are most of my gold pieces here, uh, I'll show you. I got um, three of these five nines, Howlin' Wolves from the Royal Canadian Mint, um, BPM, um, Bay Precious Metals on eBay exclusive, as so as far as I know at this point in time. Um, I have uh, three of those, I just enjoy those. Um, here, I think this was my first, one of my first purchases of, of gold. Here we have the Jerusalem, um, this is a two and a half gram, um, number 287 out of 20,000. I know some of the larger ones have a, a lot smaller mintage, but they're just bars. I just like the bar. But here we have some tents. I got a goat. Um, here we got a, a panda. Man, my hands are shaking. I apologize. We have the monkey. The kangaroo, and this is a half, half gold here, half ounce gold. And here, let me back up here. And um, coming into some pamp, um, pamp Suisse, um, same thing. It's just just things that I like that I picked up here. I have, uh, I do not have the goat, or the, excuse me, I do not have the monkeys yet. But here are the 10 gram, one ounce, and the 100 gram. Um, we got the dragon. Let me uh, flip this light on, guys. See if this helps. Here we have the dragon. Snake. As you can see. I know these are high premium. But uh, I just, I like them. So, I'll continue on with them. I do like the pant products. The backs are pretty cool on these as well. Very nice. Very nice. Here I have the um, Silver Faith series from the Pam. These are all one ounce. I have done a video on most of this stuff. I did start stacking quite a while, and this is a 10 ounce bar. Just a beautiful bar. Um, pant bars, pant products all together. Just, just beautiful. And the newer hard case here. Um, up here I have a few graded, and this is pretty much the extent of my grading other than Morgan's. Um, I have an MS-69 horse, um, PF-69 horse, and these are these are hard to find in 70s, guys. The um, Royal Mint doesn't uh, do the greatest job. But um, here, here are a couple of my early acquisitions here from, uh, I think, Modern Coin Mart, um, PF-70s, the Tokelau, um, 2014 Unicorn and Pegasus. These are pretty nice um, proofs. Very nice. Um, these are the same thing. Just picked up because I liked it. I don't really expect to, you know, make a pile off that one. But I just thought it was neat. So I picked it up. All right, guys. Now we're going to start getting into more of my bars. And uh, we'll start here with some Monarch Precious Metals. Here we have some 5-ounce. Um, I have 10 of the 5 ounce, I have 10 of the 3 ounce, I have 10 of the 2 ounce, and just 1 of the 1 ounce. And then we're going to start getting into some YPS. Um, I have quite a few pieces from Jaeger's Poured Silver. Oh, there's one more MPM up here, this is the 25. And uh, we'll start down here with Silver Slacker's bars. Um, I did get a couple of his skulls, did pretty good with the numbers, I think uh, 17, 16, 17, or 17, 18, got lower numbers on the lions, um, number 13 on the uh, dragon, dragon bar, I like that one, that one's pretty cool, and here's his 2015 bars, and his 2016 bars, and then here I'll just show you, I just have some random pieces, got the bee and honeycomb, Got some different uh, size stars and skulls and bars. It's one of their Arachnicat bars. Uh, nice 10 ounce bar there with some beautiful pore lines. Little 1 ounce cubes. I think that's a 2 ounce skull. Got a 5 ounce bar here with some nice lines. Some 100 gram skulls. 
This is a three ounce horseshoe. Um, he's only made 12 of these. Um, I just got this in the grab bag, just got real lucky. Um, there's only 12 of those. Five ounce cross. Just some more random, smaller ones here. Um, I dig the YPS. I'm getting close. I think about almost 100 ounces of YPS there. Here we got the Colonel. If you haven't seen the Colonel on YouTube, check them out. Um, I got uh, K4 Mint. That's what he calls it. Got a two and a half ounce arrowhead here. I got the, I think this is about one and seven eighths. Um, number 13, just cool. Just like supporting his channel. He's just a good guy. Just a good guy. And this is his, uh, this is the second five ounce skull um, that he poured. I picked some of those up. You've probably seen this one recently on my channel. This is MK Bars, five ounce lion. Trying to speed this up a little bit. I got Western States Refining, some odd weight, um, little over five ounce bars here. Um, here we have, this is CCIC Limited. Phoenix, Arizona Refining Division. I have no clue, guys. I cannot find anything on these. Um, I have uh, three of the five odd weight five ounces and uh, almost a 25 ouncer there. We're going to get into some more down here. This is my bison bullion. Um, got some real cool ones here. 20 ounce. These are just beautiful poured bars. I just love the color and everything. Um, here's that real cool one that's got the cool unique pour lines there got the five ounce desert eagle a little seven ounce derringer and the to uh, animal totem love that one beautiful another 10 ounce had a couple of those here let's move up this way there's another 10 ounce npm some random one ounces from atlantis eagle tiger dragon a couple heads there and we're going to start getting into some of my 10 ounce bars here guys there's a 10 from Atlantis, the Skull and Crossbones. There's a 10 ounce Geiger. People love these. I do too. Need to get some more of those. We got a 10 ounce Stacker from Scottsdale. A 10 ounce Poured from Scottsdale. We got a 10 ounce Perth Mint. Um, Prospector's Golden Gems, 10 ounce. Another Atlantis Mint, 10 ounce. Here is a Don't Tread on Me, 10 ounce from Provident. Um, here we got a Prospector 10, a Worldwide Mint, which is a little bit rarer than the normal ones that say American Eagle on it. Still haven't found out a whole lot of info on that one. Stackmaster G was helping me out a little bit with that, trying to find some info. Thanks, buddy. Um, here we have Royal Canadian Mint. As you can tell by my um, picture on my YouTube that I do like those. I got a few of these. All 10 ounces there. I got some 10 ounce angle hards. Um, still in the mint. These are great shape. Great shape. Here I got a couple, couple little chunky A marks. This was odd. I just found this one day. I thought it was neat. It's a sterling silver, only sterling silver bar that I have. Um, little 85 grams there, sterling silver. And then here I'm going to just give you a, a back shot here of, um, or an over, over shot of my one ounce bars. These are all bin fine bars from the local coin shop, guys. Um, all older, older mints. Um, I love, I love searching for these, collecting. Um, a lot of these hold pretty good premium, sell for quite a bit. Here, I'll just give you a quick overview. I won't spend a whole lot of time on these. But as you can see, I got a bunch of angle hearts. Yeah, probably close to 30 there, I think. And some box. You've seen some of these recently on my recent videos and here just some more random uh, credit suisse simmons refco just cool bars more credit suisse oxford mint washington mint this drover's bar is pretty cool that one um, pulls a pretty good price on ebay oxford couple of just random prospectors in there. Just a lot of different mints, guys. Mount Everest Mint. Um, what do we got here? I got a few of these. Southeast Refining, Panama City. We have 
Tri-State Refining, Great Lakes Mint, Patrick Mint, Crabtree Mint. I got a whole bunch of different types here. I love, love getting these. National Refiners of Sayers. Just a bunch more of these. These are just the one ounce. These are all the same here with the Getting close to the end here, guys. I'm uh, coming around the edge of the table. Um, here's a random Great Lakes Mint bar. Let me set this down so we can see. It's a silver bar. It's just plated. Here I have a few MS64 Morgans. I like getting the 64s. And uh, finally down here, guys, I have um, America the Beautiful 5 ounce. That one cracked. I didn't see that till I just looked at it today. But uh, Great Smoky Mountains. Um, I had more of these. I actually gave some of these away as gifts. Got a couple, uh, a couple Shenandoahs. Um, sand Dunes. I got three of the Arches. I figured that one was going to do good, and I turned out to be right on that one. That was, that was nice. Um, got a couple of the Everglades. Um, got three of the homesteads, and uh, that's pretty much my stack, guys. I do have uh, a couple 10-ounce bars or so missing, a little bit of gold missing, and um, I do have multiple sets of the Hercules in the boxes that I don't just didn't have room for to put on this table. But uh, all in all, um, you know, this is basically my first year and a half stacking. Um, I'm approximately around 1,450 ounces. Um, you know, I just continue to purchase consistently. Um, I'll continue to, uh, dabble in gold just a little bit. I still think at this time, my opinion, uh, silver is the better, better buy, but that could change tomorrow. But, uh, this video is extremely long, but I hope you all enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe, and, uh, appreciate everybody for watching. Y'all take care.